This is the best one. Yeah, boy. with another twice now reaction for you guys this is of course part two of the album first listen if you've missed part one it is along with the pop um mv uh, reaction if you're watching this in the, it's literally the last thing i posted but if you're watching this in the future you can go find it in my twice playlist on my channel um so now part two will consist of the three remaining tracks uh candy floss all or nothing and ha happy birthday to wait all or not oh there's four tracks candy floss all or nothing happy birthday to you and uh sunset i'm super super excited to hear the remaining tracks let's just go okay so continuing the album we now have the track candy floss uh let's go give me that give me that give me that candy floss because you give me that 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 that was really really fun um i feel the same way i do about this one as i do the title track i feel like it's very much nyan um this sound suits her a lot and it does remind me of sort of twice in general however it's not really a song that i probably put on and listen to um i did still enjoy it however like even though i'm just pointing out which songs i'm most likely to listen to more than others and um, this would be one that i wouldn't put on as much as Say like one with the ones time that doesn't mean i don't like it though this is just me reviewing assessing um i love the instrumentation there was some really cool stuff going on i kept trying to point out bits but there were so many little quirky moments i couldn't pick everything out 
Um, I love the saxophone that came, I think I could hear saxophone during the chorus. I kind of wish it was a little bit more prominent, or we had like a little saxophone solo moment maybe towards the end and then having it sort of like fade out. And then the giggle, don't want to cut out the giggle, absolutely love the giggle, um, but I would like to have heard a little bit more of the saxophone. There was also something quite princey about it. I can't put my finger on what exactly was making me think of Prince a little bit here and there. Maybe it was just the chorus and the give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. There were definitely elements within the track that was reminding me of Prince. If anyone here is a fan of Prince, um, please let me know in the comments and let me know if you can recognize what it is that reminded me of Prince. Um, it just did. I don't know what it, maybe it was just the quietness of it all. Maybe the instrumentation, the instrumental itself, I don't know. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Okay, let's go. Next up, we have no, all or nothing. Let's go. Yeah. Mm. Hey, listen. Oh. Oh. oh, that sounds so good. It's all or nothing. Let me make a little confession. Mm. Mm. Say what? Say what? Oh, no. Ooh, love that break. Ooh. Yeah. Just thinking about my mind, so Say what? Say what? I'm not trying to blame anybody. Ooh. That did do me good. 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 I just need a little conversation. And a nice hang of pity. Congrats. Make a Was it during the bridge? 
little bit of a, like a melodic rap. She was com coming with some like a little bit of attitude, like, ah, oh, she sounded so good on that. That was absolutely fantastic. I love that. Everything, everything about that. That's definitely. Now I don't know which track is my favorite. I'm a little bit in shock. That was so good. I am. I'm extremely impressed with this album, really and truly. Next up we have Nyan, happy birthday to you. Saying you to Let's go. Ooh, these samples, the records, the bridge. This is my favorite one. I like it. I like it. That kind of reminded me a little bit of like an SM track. A little bit, a little bit of Red Velvet. It definitely gave me a little bit of, sort of Red Velvet vibes. And I'm so glad. Like, I'm just so glad we're getting so many like R&B vibes, like smooth vibes. Like, we're getting some flavour on this album. I wasn't expect. I was expecting the title track, okay, and like Candy Floss. And I was expecting, I was expecting that. And I was expecting... The whole album to be like that, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe a disco track, maybe a house track, and a ballad. That's what I was expecting. So I wasn't expecting much. I wasn't expecting not to love it, but I wasn't expecting fucking three fucking R&B tracks. My favourite genre. It's cause she knows. It's cause she knows. It's cause she knows. She sounds good. She sounds fantastic. I've got nothing else to say. That's my favorite track in the album. We've only got one track left. It's not beating that. Like, it's not beating that. Like, what would you be? That was so good. That's one of my favorite B-sides this whole year, bro. Let's go on to the next one. Yeah, we're getting to that point. 
we're getting to that point where it's all just a bit much for me. It's getting all a bit much for Fifi. You know, you guys know the point. You guys know the point I get to. <laughs> Let's go to the last track. Nah, no, sunset. Let's go. Head the road. I'm on the killer. Nah, I'm do this. Defend the roads, the melodies. Oh, her voice. This woman has really and truly gone and exceeded my expectations really and truly and I was expecting I was expecting to enjoy it but not to enjoy it this much I felt like I don't really know her as a person or know her taste in music what kind of music she likes personally maybe you guys know um, I don't know if she's like into R&B and stuff like that I don't know if you guys were prepared for something like this or not let me know in the comments if you guys were expecting something like this but I'm so fucking glad like four out of the six tracks wait there's seven tracks. Four, five, six, seven tracks. Four, five, six, seven. So four out of the seven tracks on this album was very smooth sort of R and B tracks, bro. That what a way to end the album. Could have been a boring ballad. Could have been a boring ballad. But was it? No. Immediately, Fender Rhodes, my favorite instrument. That sound, just the moments, the instrumentation, the jazzy influences. It was just so smooth. Her voice. Bro, she just sounds so good singing songs like this, man. The melodies, that was just such a stunning way to end. I was floating. I stopped reading the lyrics. I rarely read the lyrics anyway, guys. I just see the words passing by, but I can't concentrate on words, bro, when I'm hearing sounds like that. How am I supposed to read words when Naomi is singing to me like that? She could just be scatting the whole time. She could literally just be doing that, and I'm going to be like, yes. 
speak your truth girl like i don't care <laughs> like, oh what an album that was absolutely fantastic i'm not going to pick a top three because i can't if i'm honest um but my favorite track was happy birthday to you that was my favorite track hands down if you want to pick a top three let me know your top three in the comments if not just let me know your favorite track um let me know how you feel about the album was you expecting these types of bangers i surely was not um i loved it i've got nothing else to say um no twice next week uh, a little twice break next week they'll be back the week after i think um unless they drop something which i doubt and um, yeah that's it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you have subscribed i love you i love you i'm gonna find me on instagram guys gonna find me on twitter and yeah bye oh